Hello everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Hope everyone's okay and having a good week so far. Uh, today our weather is a bit better than it was yesterday. Yesterday was horrendous. Hailstones and goodness knows what else. Thunder, lightning, torrential rain, wind, you name it. We had it apart from snow. <laughs> and I hope that doesn't come. Anyway. I just wanted to come back on today to do another episode of the Marguerite Miller 52 week collage challenge and I am catching up slowly. Uh, I am now on hashtag CW planner number 11. So as you're aware for most of you this is a 52 week collage challenge and each week you get five prompts and a bonus. And it's up to you if you want to use the five plus bonus or to substitute the bonus for one of the five. It's entirely up to you. So this week we have a flower, a foreign language, stitching in brackets, real, drawn or stamped, a measurement, something torn. And the bonus is geometric shapes. So I haven't got anything out for the bonus. I think we'll leave that off. Unless we're desperate, we need to fill in some spots. So I'm going to concentrate on the five prompts. Okay, so the first thing I always like to do, because this is my unused um, A5 notebook with lined white paper in, the first thing I like to do is just to stress around the edges to get rid of that white. If I can find my inks, ah, here we are. The one I want is my, I had tea dye out, but I don't want that. I want my vintage photo, which is getting really old now and scrappy looking. Let's find a bit of book page. I just like to put that on there so that we don't get it all over the place. And I am just going to go around the edges of this. Now, when I stamped week 10, I used some of that Dovecraft or Dovecraft, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, some of those inks that I've got, and I used one which is a, a, a lovely purple. And I, I was saying to everyone um, on that video that they are very, very wet and oily really I find them um, so I don't tend to use them much and true to form I, I actually blotted these before I shut the book and they still made an imprint on this page so it's a good job we're covering that up today isn't it okay so that's that done so let's see what we've got so I've done a bit of forward planning and I picked out a few things I picked out this lovely nasturtium for the flower I do like those and that color is beautiful so we may fussy cut around that or not as the, we see then I've got some Italian uh, well and French I've got a, a like a French vintage postcard here um, I'm not quite sure what it actually says, even though I did French at school, because it's in script and I can't re really understand how what's been put down. I'm not too sure. Anyway, then we've got a part of an Italian programme. This is very hard to read as well, and I don't know any Italian at all. I'm just going to straighten that edge. I can just see that is slightly crooked. I don't suppose it matters too much. Okay, so we've got a choice of those. We do need to cover the back of the book, really, before we put things down. So it might be an idea to use these in a sort of a collage. Then, so we've got a foreign language and our flower. Now stitching, <coughs> excuse me, stitching and something torn. So what I've got is some calico and I'm going to tear a piece of this off 
and I'm going to do some hand stitching and I've picked out this wool um, to use. I like the colour, I think it will go really nice with the nasturtium. So that's that. And for the measurement, I've got uh, some strips of this material uh, ruler here. So I thought we could put those on. And I, um, so the torn and the stitching is all going to be on this piece here. Now I think I'll, obviously I'm going to tear it down. Um, but that's as far as I've got now with regards to what I'm putting on the page. Now I've got to think about the background really. So I kind of want something that these pieces or whichever one I choose it are going to show up on really. So uh, I'm just having a bit of a play now as to where I might put them. So I could have I could have both on the page. We could you know cut this flower round. Let's do that. Let's just cut this flower round. This is out of a mixed media collage book that I had as a present from one of my girls. I'm not sure actually, was it one of my girls or was it my hubby? I'm not sure. Somebody bought it for me anyway. So um, it's quite nice. It's got all plants and mushroomy things in it. And you, it's just literally for collaging. These books are very handy. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Get rid of that. So I like that shape much better. I don't want everything to be square. So I was thinking perhaps having those there and joining them up with the flower. And then we will tear this. So let's... Let's think, I might have this in a, now do I want it? I know what I want to stitch on it. So that would involve it being torn down like this. And possibly again like that, okay. I do like how this calico frays out. So I was going to stitch something onto that. You know, it is very similar colour to everything else. But I just thought, you know, it was an idea I had. So I quite like that. Actually, I might put that down here somehow. If I want it in a square, you see, everything always seems to be square to me. Uh, let's leave it like that at an angle and see what we think of that. We've got our measurements, but these are very pale as well. So these may have to be backed onto something. I think what I want is something a bit darker to go on the back of this, in the background of this page. So... Let me just go to my drawers and I will just get a sheet out of something I have in mind. Annoying, 
collagey bits here, so we'll use those, I think. So I have some nice bits of dyed parchment, and these are very pretty. So I'm going to perhaps just put one of those, I wonder whether to put one down. I did do that on that side though, so I should, I feel I should do something a bit different. But I do like that, so what we'll do is I'm just going to tear it, I think, down like that. And have a bit of a collage going on in the background. So... I can rip this down. This is very strange paper. It's parchment, but it's got a very strange sort of texture to it. Okay, so we have that there. And do we want a piece down there? Like that. Something else that's quite dark. But I don't want something else that has script on it, to be honest, because I feel that we've got enough um, script. So I've got some nice straw paper, that would be nice. That's a nice colour. So let's have a look at these bits in here. Okay. We have a look at these and see what we think. Where's my tear ruler? Let's push that up a bit. Well, I hope everyone's all right. As I say, and they're having a good week so far. It is Tuesday today. Just not long finished work. And I thought I'd try and get a video in. I'm trying to be a bit more proactive with videoing in the week. So let's put let's put a piece of this up here like this. I don't know why I always want to cover up a piece. It's wasteful really isn't it? So just literally I must stop saying literally. I feel like I'm saying literally all the time. Before it was um. I'm probably still saying that as well. <laughs> oh, God. And now it's, it's literally. Literally, I have done this. Literally, I have done that. <laughs> I don't know where I've got that from. I really don't. I literally don't know. <laughs> I do apologise if you're really irritated by it. I have watched a few other people though and there are some real kind of foibles out there where people are saying odd things, you know. <laughs> Let's have some of this nice, that's a bit that's been stuck down and folded over. So let's see if we can, oh, moving out, moving everything out because it's getting on my nerves now. <laughs> it's only me that's made the mess, isn't it? Can't blame anyone else but myself. It's, it's strange how we, we don't know what we're like until we hear ourselves back. And then it's a bit of a shock, really, I guess. And would that fit there? Bit of a patchwork going on here. Okay, so we're going to tear that down. I'm just winging this, can you tell? <laughs> it's ad hoc today. It's ad hoc. And I'm going to put another piece of this down. Down here. That's not wide enough. That might be better. We can put that under there like that. 
have them like that so I quite like that that nice patchwork and it's a nice background now for the rest of the pieces to go on to I'm keeping all these tiny scraps in there and I'm realizing that I've got a massive box full of them now I don't know whether I'm doing the right thing or not but then now I've got to the stage where I don't want to throw anything away so I'm going to just distress the edges because you know how I like to do that and then just pick this one up first now I, I don't want to take them all off because I've got it just how I want it so I'm going to use my glue stick finally used up the Morrison's supermarket one so I feel a bit better about that actually now did I have it that way I think I did because I wanted that black there's a sort of a, a black piece in the actual paper but I don't like it <laughs> I'm going to put this one down this one this one next I must hurry up I must speed up more I think I'm really slow I don't know what you all think but I feel like I'm really being terribly slow oh look at the back of that back of it's very grungy indeed hmm I think we'll stick with the bit we wanted, the side we wanted. And I hope you can see me and I'm not knocking the camera because I've my I've got my phone on charge and it is actually sticking out now at the moment. We're just gonna tie it round something. Otherwise I don't want you seeing that. On, on camera so this is going to go down here like this and I want I think I wanted these I think I want one under did I want one under and one over I wanted that like that did I want that under let me just lift that up a minute this is the problem when you start did I want I have kept that edge quite straight there on that piece so quite like that and have that there and then this was going to go over the top here like that but I do have a bit of a gap maybe I could just use it up a bit like that Okay, so I'm going to put this piece on next. So easy to get it all how you want it and then move it slightly and it doesn't look at all how it did and then you can't figure out how you managed to get it the way you wanted it. But also the right way around. So I'm going to put that on there. to tell you today all quiet here today we've just had a courier so Paddy is, has done his bit of territorial growling and snarling and sounds like he's a vicious dog and he's not at all he's the friendliest dog you could ever wish for very social indeed and he absolutely adores children loves the grandchildren to bits he met Maisie for the first time my little 18 month granddaughter when we met them in Abingdon Park in the open air and you know she's the one with the um, CFC the rare genetic disorder and um, he he was he gave her a lick and she loved it 
she really did. I don't think she knew what was going on first of all, but then she she's used to a cat because they have a cat called Joy Joy, black cat. Well, her name is Joy, but I call her Joy Joy. I'm Joy Joy's granny. <laughs> yes, she's my grand cat, Charlotte says. So, and I have another grand cat. I have Lily, who is Rachel's cat. And I'm just wondering whether to have that. No, I don't want that over there. I have it here as planned because we are going to cover some of this up anyway. Okay, right. Okay, so that's a nice patchwork. Turn that over and move that over. Now, let's see, we want this flower here. Where are my other pieces? Oh, oh I seem to have lost them now. Goodness me, it doesn't take me long, does it, to lose anything on this desk? And this desk is not tiny, you know. It's just a decent size. I seem to have completely lost them. Have they fallen down? Goodness me. Um, here we go. Um, um, when I'm not sure about something. They're staring me in the face. They're on this page and they're camouflaged. Look. Did you see them? So I thought we'd have that there. And maybe we'll have this down here, perhaps, like that don't really want to cover everything up so maybe I'll just go for that today have them down the middle have the flower down the center or we can have the flower have the flower down here perhaps like that and I want to put my stitching somewhere so it will probably have to go under here like this. And I just want it at an angle like that. Then we've got these pieces here of tape. So I've got three bits. They're just left over from previous things I've done. I'm just going to grunge them up a little bit because they are a bit white-ish. And I may try and just do the edges of them. like that just to give them a bit more definition on the page yes this courier that came honestly what a waste of postage i ordered some things from pets at home i ordered the cat food so it comes in a big bag and i ordered um litter for the litter tray that Elmo is using that I don't like but he's still using it and he can't go out at the moment because they haven't locked down the nursing home and it came in a massive massive really heavy box this morning and then a small box alongside it and it said on the boxes, both of them extremely heavy, and the courier just knocked the door. I went to the door, and he hopped back in the van before I could say Jack Robinson, and off he went. And um, it left me to drag them in off the doorstep. It wouldn't have hurt. I know we're still distancing and things, although you wouldn't believe it to see some people out there at the moment, the way they're behaving. <laughs> um, but that's another story and I, I won't get on to my um, high horse about it probably people are fed up listening to me going on I thought we'd have those there but I just thought do you know it wouldn't have hurt him to offer to bring it in for me anyway that came right amongst the order I'd ordered a like a, a plastic mat thing for the cat food bowls to go on. And I wanted a new one of those. I ordered that. Do you know what? Those two boxes were delivered this morning and a second courier has just been and he had the mat in his hand, not wrapped up, just a mat in cellophane 
in his hand. So a second van had to come all the way out here just to deliver that. I thought that was crazy. You know, there's no greenness to that, is there? So I thought we'd have these here like this. Um, hmm. Do we have them around the page like that or do we put them all together up here? Somehow, like that. What does that tell me? That's quite nice. And it does make them stand out more. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I've made a decision. So the only thing we need to do is stick all this down. And I need to sew this. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to move that gently to one side. And let's thread a needle up. And let's see what which one shall we use. This is wool, so I want one with a fairly fairly big eye. Uh, that one probably be fine, I'd say. Put those back in there. How do we want hang on, let me just check that oh they're identical. Oh, huh, that's strange. Okay, right, let's take some of this off. Oh, I never undo the right bit. Okay, let's take a good bit off like that. And I'm going to attempt to thread the needle. I have got a needle threader, but... And I'm going to double it up. And this is how I was taught at school many moons ago. So I'm knotting it like that because it's going to be stuck down. And basically what I thought I'd do is I'd take it in the centre like this. And I'm just going to do a running stitch. And I'm going to do like a spiral. Um, I like spirals. I think they're fascinating. Some of the Celtic artwork is absolutely lovely. So that's the theory, whether it's going to look like one when it's finished. I'm not the best needlewoman in the world. This reminds me of being at school. I don't know if anyone remembers or whether they did it when they were at school and you're in the kind of junior section of the school and you're learning to make bookmarks and things and you've got that. It's embroidery material with the holes in and uh, you're going to given a piece you know a strip and, and then you embroider it I've still actually got one that Charlotte made I've kept all the bits that Charlotte and Rachel ever made me at school I've actually still got some of them this is you're going to think I'm crazy but I can't bear to throw them away when you buy the already embroidered labels with their names on to put into their school clothes I've still got two or three for each girl, Charlotte and Rachel, and I, I've kept them. They're in my sewing box. <laughs> I can't bear to throw them away because they're my girls, you know. It's soppy, isn't it? So I'm literally just going around. I haven't drawn anything out. I am going to take this thread for as far as it will go. I try and keep it a bit even. I remember very well sitting down when I was only oh, six, seven, um, in quite a dark classroom, because obviously I'm a 50s child, end of the 50s I have to say, I'm not that old, but um, only, only as old as you feel they say, and I don't feel that inside at all, I feel very young, but on the outside I'm not, but Yes, yeah, so I was born at the end of the 50s and when I think back to the school classrooms were so dark, everything was dark, you know, inside really. Um, and now, you know, the children are so lucky. They've got beautiful, well-lit classrooms. But I do, I can pick, I can see myself still now sitting and sewing. We all sat in a row 
uh, with the teacher in front of us. And it would have been a teacher that taught you something else as well. So it wasn't specifically at that age, it wasn't specifically a sewing teacher. I, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background, but Paddy Dog is trampolining on our bed. I told you he this is one of his favourite pastimes. And because I'm up here in the spare bedroom, uh, which is where I've been working today, um, he uh, he thinks it's great fun to come up and do some trampolining on the bed. My husband's actually been looking to see if he can buy dog trampolines. But he thinks Paddy would like one. But I think Paddy just likes jumping on the bed. And he we're thinking of setting up Dog Olympics because he can do these like triple selcos. I don't know if anyone watches ice skating on on the TV. But they when they do these triple twizzles and things, he does them on the bed when he's trampolining. <laughs> Oh, he's such a character. He really is. It's never, ever a dull moment with him. I do have a very full-on day with him, Elmo, intermittently wailing because he wants to go out, trying his best to get up on the coffee table under the window, see whether, you know, one of the windows might just be open and he might be able to get out through a tiny gap he's a big cat he's actually uh he's uh he's got a pedigree and he he's not a full-blown pedigree but he's part short british short hair and part main coon and he's got a beautiful velvet coat he's a tabby color and he's beautiful but paddy's paddy dog's very jealous jealous of Elmo and jealous of pebbles if they even dare to come over you know for fuss oh he's he's jumps on my lap and he's clinging to me as if we never ever give him any love he's a real lap dog you know and he's not small yeah never a dull moment when you have pets as always seem to have lots of character you know Right, I think that's it. So that's what I've done, like that. I like that. They're not all even stitches, but they're hand stitching. Look, so I'll just show you that there. Do you see that? As I say, I'm not the world's expert, but we were also taught to finish off our things by running your needle through a few of the stitches on the back to stop the thread coming out, and then. You would just snip it off like that and there we have it so let's bring this back this is going to go here like that on there okay so now we're going to stick some of these down and we're going to need fabric tap hmm does this art glitter glue stick fabric down I don't know would the three in one cause this to uh, come through this calico? I don't want to ruin it. Okay, let's let's do one thing at a time. So I'm going to put those there because I know that's how I want them. So I'm to take this now and give this a uh, I want to rough up these edges. So I'm just going to get my little tool and rough the edges up just quick oh, it's not easy I, I thought this would be easy I don't find this easy at all you know I might be doing it wrong perhaps somebody will kindly tell me I know that Dee Dee at Dee's Crafty Place she says that uh, not Dee 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 at Dee's Crafty Place I think she starts from the edge, or no, she starts from the middle and goes to the edge. I think that's how she does it. Starts from the middle, goes to the edge, like that. She does hers with scissors, which is really how I used to do mine before. 
I bought that little tool and that tool was only a couple of pounds so it's not like it was a massive investment. I've drawn a line at buying great big gadgety things. However, I did subscribe to a craft magazine recently which according to the advertisement, I've done that, it, um, let's do the edge of this, it apparently comes with a free gift and the free gift is a mini, uh, um, what do you call it, a die cut machine or I have no idea, I wouldn't have a clue but I wanted the magazine, I didn't, I didn't, honestly didn't get it just for that free gift. And you never know really if the free gift is out of stock at the time yours comes out you could probably get something else but it, all these gadgets have to have a place to live in in your house and we are living in a tiny house two up two down now we've decided to go to the smallest you know after living in a well, we went from four bed down to three bed down to this two bed. And there's a limit to how much you can have indoors. I've only got this spare room, really. A kind of at, at maximum. I'm just going to see if I can just, just put a bit of ink around the edges of this. Might so just to give it a bit of emphasis on the page yes yeah, so I don't actually know where I'd put it the sewing machine can't stay out because there's no room for it and that's a dinky sewing machine anyway so okay let's get this down and those have all moved out of the position I was putting them in we'll have to redo that in a minute yeah so it's a bit like your kitchen you know it's it's like buying all these fancy gadgets for your kitchen or your fancy bread maker soup maker ice cream maker uh big mixer with all the gadgets all the tools and then you think well i haven't got enough cupboard space for day-to-day -day stuff let alone big gadgets like that so i've over the years i've got rid of things like that right in fact I've, I've gone back to using like a hand whisk i quite like those if we've got a massive house and a great big kitchen and big lots of cupboard space and that's great very pleased for anyone who has but you know, my husband is quite right in a way. When he initially said it to me, I was a bit resentful. But he sort of said, like, when I've said, oh, you know, colleague at work's got a soup maker, that would be a great idea, or an ice cream machine. And he, he said, but, you know, that's going to be a five-minute wonder. And then you're going to be finding, looking for somewhere to put it in the cupboard. And I guess he's right, really. Now, I'm going to try the art glitter glue for this, but it, it could be that I may have to stick this down at a later date. Well, next time we come and look at this page, when we go on to doing the next episode of week 12, we will check to see if it's still down. But I know, I'm pretty sure this art glitter glue does not... Um, leave a stain so let's just press that down like that don't mind it over the page slightly let's get this down now right Goodness me. And I also do a lot of sighing on, on video. <laughs> and I bet people think, goodness me, she's a miserable so-and-so. Well, I think I had this more up here and I didn't want that there. Oh, well, we'll just have to go down a bit now. 
so we'll have it there like that yeah so i don't know what that's all about because i don't sigh i don't feel like i'm sighing all the time we use art glitter glue for this so i think i'm gonna have the top the top one's gonna be the longest one i think no we had the smallest smaller ones at the top yeah i don't know why i'm sighing a lot well i've i've heard myself back and i feel like i do sigh a bit <laughs> i'm not sure why because i'm not unhappy and i'm not sad and i'm not fed up but i'm not finding it a chore doing these on the contrary i find this extremely relaxing and i wish i had found crafting a lot sooner when i was a lot younger although I probably wouldn't have had much time then because i was single mum for 13 years the girls were six and three when i initially was on my own with them and uh that takes up all your time looking after your girls so now i'm having me time you see this is all my me time and i think this glue is affecting metal because i swear that looks rusty that pin Oof. and there well i think we may be done i don't know that i want to put anything else on here so where's our now five prompts so we have a flower we have this lovely nasturtium we have foreign language we have two lots we have italian and we have french we have stitching real stitching and we have a torn piece of cloth with the stitching on so we have everything on here that we need there is nothing else that we need on here so i'm not sticking this on either sometimes i do sometimes i don't um this is week 11 i mean if i had a number 11 that would be quite nice to put on here let me just get my labels the only labels i've actually cut out and put in a box and the Tracy Fox labels the chances of having a number 11 in here I are quite slim I'd say I don't want to spend all of the rest of this video looking for label do I uh, we'll have a quick squiz, we'll have a quick one, eight and nine, another eight, another nine or six, whichever way up it is, oh there's a ten, it's going to be one of these squares, that's a five, six or a nine, Okay, does it look like we might have one? I don't know. I don't know how far up they went. I don't have anything bigger than that. I have a, a number stamp. I guess I could get that out and use it, but I don't really feel that uh, I want to do any stamping, really. So a zero... A D, so that might be an O, a 2, a C, a 4, an E, F, number 3, and number 1. And that is it, number 2, number 8. It's possible that I did have one and I've used it. So I haven't got anything else put on unless I put a label on 
what a shame that says 10 days that label it said 11 days or 11 week 11 that would be ideal <laughs> week 11 no <laughs> we don't we have a do not fill in <laughs> we have garden flora lots of numbers and things oh we do have a label with 11 on look we have a label it says number 11 and someone's written 11 on it we're going to use that now now I've made you sit there and watch me go through those. We will just give that a bit of an ink round. Take off the white. And we're going to have this somewhere. And I love the green. It matches the green of the nasturtium leaves. And I think we're going to have it on a piece of our trim. So let's cut a bit of this web out. I don't have a piece handy that's already cut. So cut, just cut the square off because we can use up the rest. Pin that back up like that. Where did that go? Oh, I'm having trouble seeing things today. And we'll cut round there. That can go into bits and bobs. Pot. I'm just snipping off the hard edges because I'm not too keen on those. Now, where do we want it? We have it there, opposite those measurements. Or should we have it in this gap? where there is an obvious gap I'm not too worried about these because I like the paper showing but I do like that I think we'll put that down here I'm going to try so that art glitter glue I think it definitely has stuck that down now I can see some seepage but I think I've heard people say that this dries clear now, every time it comes, I haven't used it and it comes out, it comes out with a bit of a black, which I think is this pin. And I have to look for a different pin, I think. So that's going there like that. Because it's definitely rust. It's got to be. Or is it quite like that at an angle there? Oh, I don't know if that that is not sticking down. Wow, that's strange. Try again. That doesn't want to stick to that webbing. How peculiar. I'm just oh, I'm just making it very very gluey indeed. No, it does not want to stick. Okay, I might have to use the glue rubber on that. It's gone a bit strange looking, a little bit older looking than it was. It may just need a bit of time. Anyway, let me put this other pin in that never did go rusty. So that's taught me a lesson not to use those sewing pins. They're obviously not very, very good quality, are they? Okay, right. Okay, so there we have it. Let's ignore that page. But there we have that page. So we have everything on it that we need. I think I'm going to call that a day. So that's hashtag CW Planner Week 11. And I really like that. I love this plant here. I like this texture. Even that's got texture to it. It's very nice. I'm pleased with that. Okay, everyone. I'll say goodbye now. I'm sure I've waffled on for far too long. 
and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.